to all our ASEAN partners. As this year marks the 26th anniversary of the Asia-Europe meeting, on behalf of the Royal Government of Cambodia, I am pleased to extend my warmest message of happiness, good health, and a sustainable recovery from COVID-19 pandemic to all ASEAN partners and the peoples of the two continents. Since its inception in 2016 in Mongolia, it has become a practice that we choose the month of March to celebrate the ASEAN Day. We can be proud of ASEAN past 26 years track records of a solid partnership between Asia and Europe. ASEAN is now the largest cooperation framework outside the United Nations, representing 60% of the global population, 55% of global trade, 65% of the global economy, and 75% of global tourism. With such a significant contribution, ASEM does carry a meaningful health in global affairs with multilateralism at its core. Last year, we had a historical opportunity and a great honor to host the 13th ASEM Summit under the theme Strengthening Multilateralism for Share Growth. And I was pleased to witness ASEM leaders placing paramount importance on ASEM core values, as well as their commitments to revitalizing multilateralism toward a more resilient, sustainable, inclusive, and dynamic future of Asia-Europe cooperation. The spirit of informality, flexibility, equal partnership, consensus, and mutual benefit has once again shown throughout the whole summit. Assembly leaders had showcased their steadfast engagement in tackling global and regional challenges as reflected with their global action against COVID-19 and climate change their commitment to enhancing public health and safety, their focus on youth employment and women empowerment, and their resolve to tackle WTO reforms, among others. More importantly, they had ultimately adopted three significant outcome documents, namely, one, the ASEAN 13 Chair Statement, Two, the Phnom Penh Statement on Post-COVID-19 Social Economic Recovery. And three, the Way Forward on ASEM Connectivity. These outcome documents mark a new historic milestone in ASEM cooperation and solidified our solidarity and share resolve to maintain and promote peace, stability, prosperity in Asia and Europe, as well as to build an inclusive, sustainable, and resilient future for our current and next generations. ASEAN must persevere in the next several decades and beyond to ensure that prosperity and sustainable development are secured for all ASEAN partners and perhaps the rest of the world. Its commitment toward building a cohesive, competitive, resilient, and sustainable community for the peoples of Asia and Europe remains a top priority. To this end, all ASEAN partners are bound together in this common goal to ensure that multilateralism will generate stability and prosperity for shared growth and that it will address existing and emerging regional and global issues with the aim of attaining the UN Sustainable Development Goals 2030. In this connection, Cambodia is ready and looks forward to continuing to work closely with all ASEAN partners and relevant stakeholders 
to implement the measure set out in our recent ASEM 13 outcome document to further foster ASEM cooperation, address issues of common concern, and elevate the friendly relations among all partners to a new height. I thank you.